Hello friends and welcome to my second video of tutorial with where we create a Joker's Bomb. Okay, in my previous video of this tutorial we uh, make modeling of all this room including ventilations and redshift lights. Additionally, I show with you how to create uh, some materials of this. So, in today's video, I will show you how to create a particles effect collider of our, uh, I mean, deflector of our objects and how to animate all this scene. So, let's start. <laughs> We are in Cinema 4D and now we create a particle effects. So we are going to simulate particles and add particle emitter. So this uh, blue one, Z arrow showing where is our particle coming. So change for 90 degrees on top. Going to particle options and go to our emitter. First of all, we create uh, maybe maybe 1000 particles for editor and for render. Yeah, if your computer so very low in editor, you can make a uh, less, for example, 10. And during rendering, your particles will will multiply it by 10. Okay, going to emitter and reduce our emitter size up to 15 and 15 and change emitter type to con. What is this? Look, our emitters going directly on the top. Directly top. If I change uh, angle about 45 degrees, my particle going like this. Okay, and it's going all time up. So I have to add some uh, some gravity. We are going to simulate Dyna uh, particles and add gravity. If I play now, you see my gravity is coming down. Very good. So I go to emitter particles and change some small settings. First of all, I add some uh, speed. Then I add some rotation. For speed, I will make uh, some variation 50% and life. 500. I think 500 will be enough. So I change my um, time scale for 300 and all my composition will be for 300 frames. Okay, check what I have now. Very good. Very good. And I will change start 0 and finish 10. So during only 10 seconds it will be like explosion like explosion very good okay what i will do now go to simulate particles and deflector i have some deflector change angle and change size of this de deflector four up to four like my floor take this deflector and make a copy put somewhere top here what I have now, okay, you see, my particles is deflected. Take deflector, copy, and change for 90 degrees, and change size for 300, like this. Like this will be good. So put somewhere here. And put exactly where is we have our wall copy put here exactly where is we have our wall copy change direction and put somewhere here exactly where is we have our wall so again play and what we have you see is jumping jumping everywhere 
I go to uh, deflector, select all of them and go to the options. Bounce is like a jumping, yes. I reduce up to 25, I don't need some anymore. Check again. Okay, okay, very good. And also I have to add some deflector to my table. So I copy of this deflector, pick up for 60 centimeters and reduce size up to 60, 60. Exactly like my table. Okay, it will be 60. How much will be 60? Yeah, like this. 62.5 centimeter. Okay. Check again. You see some particles jumping on the tables and dropping down. Very good. What I'll do now? Select all of them. Alt G and forces. Go to primitives and create polygon. Just standard normal polygon and make it triangle. Reduce size up to 2 cm and 2 cm. Make it very, very, very small polygon. Very small polygon. And make copy of this polygon. Totally I make uh, 7 polygons. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 polygons. Then I create a redshift material. Going to settings of this material and make a red color. I like to make it very, very colorized, so I will do a seven different colors like a rainbow. Three, four, five, six, seven. Going to second orange, maybe like this. Next one will be yellow. Next one will be green. Next one will be light blue. Uh, just normal blue. And last one will be violet. Or pink or violet, doesn't matter. It's not so important. Okay. Apply to all my polygons different colors. As you know, a new Redshift R18 have some special uh, Cinema 4D shaders. How to apply for, for example, for all emitters or for all uh, cloner objects, different colors. But Redshift haven't these options in present moment. I have alpha version out of Redshift. Maybe in latest version we will have something, but I don't know in present moment. So. Take all these polygons and make like a child of my emitter. Go to emitter options and make a show object. Okay, what we have now? Boom. You see. Very nice. Again, if I render, I have many, many different uh, polygons, which is very colorized. Looks like very nice. Uh, what I will do now? I will add some wind. So I like to when my uh, when my particles coming on the floor somewhere here, my ventilator start work and push all these particles outside from the room. So I go to simulation, particles and wind. As you can see, wind directions also where is a blue arrow. So change like this and put somewhere too much outside. I no need it. I no need it. Somewhere here. Okay. Go to emitter. Include. Ah, okay, it is not included. So I will include everything. Number 5, 4. Just to be sure that everything working in normal condition. I will add gravity and I will wait force. Force I will also put inside. Okay. Check again. You see, wind pushing outside and nothing in my room. Nothing happened in my room. So, how to animate it? Uh, first of all, I go to my wind and make it zero force. Zero. Just without nothing. Add too much particles, maybe up to 
2000 just to check how it's working and check boom okay is dropping down and maybe maybe from from frame number 160 ah okay so i have three seconds yes now i animate this timer uh, as you know i work with uh, 25 frames per second so uh, i go to my bump to my text and on the frame number zero i make keyframe zero zero three frame number 25 i will make game frame zero zero two frame number 50 zero zero one and frame number 75 will be zero will be zero okay check how it's working three two one boom okay and here will be explosion so i go to emitter and start emission will be 100 uh, sorry 100 and finish 110 if i check how it work it will be like this three two one go boom very good okay uh now i make animation of my box so i take this going somewhere on frame number 97 where is my box my bomb and my cube is this cube one i take a ribbon and put inside my cube number one so when i move cube number one it moving together with my ribbon like this you see yeah very good so uh going to both of these cubes coordinates and select keyframe go to 100 and open this maybe 130 and this 130 okay what i have now take a meter where is my meter and put down inside to the box just maybe maybe for this size what i have two one go boom okay very good this is done then i wait when my particles coming to the floor and approximately from these frames frame number 80 up to 280 i will start my force my wind i going to wind going to object and wind speed push zero then coming five frames more i make a okay maybe not five maybe 10 frames more i make a five again keyframe then i go to 270 came frame and then i push a stop zero and make like this now i'm going to ventilations to my propeller and make same simulation so i go to frame number 180 going to coordinates i will use no not this not this okay this rotation yeah okay here will be zero and when i will be here i will do maybe seven two hundred maybe like this okay check what we have what we have finally push wait three two one boom my particles going up going everywhere dropping down then start work ventilation and pushing everything outside ventilation stop it no any particles very nice so uh, after this when my particles already going out i going back to my uh, bomb text object frame five more will be one five more will be two and five more will be three so i just return back yeah just return back very good and from frame number 80 i take my two boxes going to coordinates and up to 95 i just close my box so 
it will be zero and this will be zero okay time is going back and box is closed just to start video from beginning very good and now i have to animate my light light which is inside in the ventilation so i going to lights i take uh, this light which is inside in ventilation going to frame number 180 no maybe maybe before because i like first start illumination so select and make a zero and zero going to frame number 80 and make one seven like we have before okay going to this frame select and 10 frames more zero zero very nice so here my ventilation will, uh, will be dark without any illumination you can see it's very very dark okay yes top uh, here my ventilation will be on okay you see some lights some light it is inside yes and when my ventilation will stop will be again dark so very good what i will do now i like to create some camera and i like to create camera moving so i go to camera and create motion camera you see uh sometimes i have some bug i don't know how to fix it but my camera created not not with full section so without target without something so first time i delete it go again back to the camera and create one more time and as you can see uh, now i have some additional spline target i have everything i don't know why this bug coming in my cinema 4d but if you know please send me some comments this will be nice for me i try to fix this problem so uh take camera and make look through the camera go to the top view and start move my camera somewhere to make a proper proper position okay so maybe like this maybe like this i like to start from my watch just when when in beginning yes when in beginning i see watch then my camera going back okay i take camera target 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 put target to my watch exactly to my watch okay so this will be for target zero and for motion will be zero now we are going to this frame when it start explosion and i move camera somewhere maybe maybe here and target maybe here so will be like this uh, of course you can you can make up to you absolutely up to you it's not any rules for this it's how you like it you can make but i like like this and motion okay what i have you see yeah first frame camera moving back 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 Poof, explosion so when coming can ex explosion i like to change my target i going somewhere here and put target up maybe to this angel look what will be going back going back boom look it up and just make game frame fra game frame for 20 seconds and put it down again to the box very nice then when start my ventilation i just look to my ventilation so I take it, put inside to the ventilation, and put little bit up. Very nice. 
just little bit, maybe maybe 15 frames. I look to my ventilation, and then going back to the floor. So put somewhere here and somewhere here. Very nice. And then I make a copy of first frame and put like a last frame. No, have mistake. I will put here. Okay. So, and my motion. My motion, just copy of this frames put somewhere maybe I don't know I don't need I don't need any change so I will check like this so moving back moving back moving back boom explosion check up going down look to the ventilation look to the floor and going back okay and maybe I just copy this game frame put somewhere maybe maybe here then take this keyframe okay my mistake sorry copy paste this I delete okay and copy and paste about 300 somewhere here like this and target you see somewhere I have mistake but okay we will try to fix without any problem I'll put like this again check again what's the problem going back going back look up look to the ventilations very nice look to the floor and go back to my box Okay, very good. I think my all my ventil oh, all my animation is done. Uh, I hope I don't I not forget something. So make some few renders and check how it will be finally. Okay, very nice, very nice, very nice. So uh, to make a very nice animation, I go to emitter particles and increase in time times. I don't know up to up to 20,000 so when will be explosion your computer my computer will start stuck you see but when you render it you will have very nice cloud of these uh, small small polygons okay it's of course taking more longer time but look 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 for this it's very very nice okay uh, going to render settings for my render setting I use almost HD but very wide 567 okay save folder I use PNG and Joker bomb okay and redshift for basic I will make a 32 32 samples minimum and maximum will be 32 I not use any uh, motion blur because a uh, particle emitter not working properly with motion blur uh, really i don't know why i try to read some manuals uh, check this in internet but i cannot find any decision i think this is bug of alpha version of redshift uh, for example i can show you uh, if i enable motion blur and just render this picture i cannot see any particles i cannot see any details i don't know why it's some some problem look oh very strange now it's working okay I will check I will check it little bit later but I uh, this render I will do without motion blur without motion blur for system maximum bucket and spiral so just push render uh, oh yes I forget to put uh, all frames of course all frames just to push a render and wait after that I'm going to After Effects. So, inside After Effect, what I have? I have 
sequency my sequency jpeg which is just drop to new composition and finally i have composition then i will add some sounds so i download few sounds from internet uh, this is like alarm clock this is like vacuum cleaner and this is like explosion of second world war okay what i will do with this take alarm buzzer cut and take only one beep of these alarms and all time every seconds you see yes i just copy of this alarm here 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 when coming seconds coming beep 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 on seconds number four coming sound explosion and rain of parasol I, I i didn't find any other good sound and when coming end and my timing going back i add again beep 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 very good and vacuum cleaner so uh, i add the sound and when my ventilation is coming to work my vacuum cleaner start working when my ventilation is stop my vacuum cleaner also stop at sound sound of vacuum cleaner okay and finally what i have i increase sound and okay very good uh, after that i add some adjustment layer on the top for adjustment layer i use magic bullet looks and some body shop you can add any color or without any color but i like it because there is some nice uh, bleak coming and as you can see yeah mm, without adjustment layer like this with adjustment layer you have like a like a cinematic looks okay after that render and finally you will have like this video okay so if you like my tutorial please subscribe please share it to your friends put like and thank you for watching see you next time goodbye